Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles makeup video and we are gonna be testing out something that I got from Walmart. It is this. It is the Love Betsy by Betsy Johnson 56 piece collection. This would be a great, a great, a great, a great Christmas present if it's good. I don't know if it's good because we're gonna try it out. But especially for like if you have a teenager or something that just wants makeup, or you have even a younger one, a junior high that just wants to play in makeup at home. I don't know, actually, they, I think they wear makeup even in junior high now. It comes with a 40 eyeshadows. You see that? 40 eyeshadows. Eight lip glosses, three blushes, three highlights, and two eyeliners. I'm assuming they're both black. I don't know. It doesn't say on here, so we'll find out. It says eyeliner pencils, so I thought they were going to be liquids. We'll see. Maybe one's a liquid and one's a pencil. Anyways, that's what we're going to test out. I also have this Kiss Lash Glue Liner. I wanted to try this. I saw some people that tried it and loved it. And then I saw some other people that like tried three different kinds and it wasn't the best. This one wasn't, but we're gonna try it because the other ones were a lot more expensive. This one was like $10. Um, the liner pen was like $10 at Walmart and this whole big palette is 15. I have already done the base of my makeup the TikTok method. So that's what we have to do. But anyways, here it is. Let's look at these pencils. See if they're both black. That one's black. Yes, and it's like a just a regular eyeliner pencil. And this one, I'm assuming they're both black since it doesn't say. Oh no, it looks like it's brown. Yep, a brown one and a black one. Well, that's good. I wondered why they'd give you two of the same color, but since it didn't say. Anyways, those are the colors. One brown, one black. So, let's finish my makeup first. We are going to do, you know, just the regular stuff. I'm gonna use this Slate, Clean Slate from Tarte um, Primer again. This time I'm going to put more on and just see and I'm going to put it on like a cream see if it actually fills in my pores if I because last time I just pressed it in and it didn't seem like it did anything to me so we're gonna see if it does a little better this time Maybe I just didn't use as much. I was trying to use it kind of like the Tatcha one. And that didn't seem to work. Because with the Tatcha one, you're supposed to take, like, with your fingernail, get a little rice sized piece. And that's all you need. Well, it didn't work with this one. But we're going to see if, if I just put it on like this. My cheeks are really red. I think that's from, I think it's windburn, just because it's so cold right now. Is it cold where you're at? I'm sure it is. I'm sure that me saying it's so cold is like nothing compared to some places where people, you guys are. So we did that. Now I'm gonna go in with my base tape and just put it around the, the rest of my face. Now we're gonna go in with our Tarte Rainforest, no, what is this? Yeah, Rainforest of the Sea foundation, water foundation. Oof, that was a lot. All right, that's enough. Kind of spread this out. And then I'm going in with a sponge. 
a damp sponge. That's super cold. Have you guys got your Christmas tree up yet? Today is November 4th. I make this one before I make the Saturday one, Sunday one, so that I have makeup on for that one. And I put my tree up on November 1st. Took down the Halloween, put up the Christmas. And I know we still have Thanksgiving, but I like my Christmas tree up. And I don't. Okay, concealer. We're going to use our Pat McGrath. And then we're going to blend that out. I probably should have just done all of this ahead of time, right? Since it's the same thing I've been doing for a while. But some people are new and they haven't seen it. So I thought, you know what? I'll just go ahead and I'll edit it down so it's not so long. But I'll leave it part of it so that you see what I used and kind of how I did it. So I'm going to go in with my powder. I'm using my Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics. My absolute ride or die. Powder. Palette. You know what? That clean slate. It looks amazing now. When I put it on that way instead of the way I had put it on the other day. Last week, I think. Yes, I knew I needed to try it more. So now we're going to take my powder brush, grab a little bit of powder on it, and then just spread out everything that I already put on. And there is no bronzer in or contour in this little palette, so I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown. And it is the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in neutral or natural natural and this is an elf brush it used to be available everywhere when I got it way back in a long time ago now I think you can still get it at Ulta though so now we're going to go into our new palette and we're going to go into the blush. Oh, I think I'm going to try this one here. It's my most, the most calming one of these three. See the three? This one is way too pink and this one is, this one is like pretty orange. I'll swatch them for you though. Anyway, moving on. We're going to try this what I think is the mildest one. We're going to use this brush and we're going to go in just lightly. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's pretty. I'm always shocked when I get a palette this size for $14 and it has anything, you know, worth trying. Anyways, we're going to tone it down a little because it is a little pink, especially on my cheeks that are already, you know, kind of windburned. It's pretty though. I'd wear it. Pay no attention to this part because that's where the windburn is. All right. So that's enough of that. And then we're going to go in with highlight. And you know me, I like to use my finger for the highlight. Um, this is the pink one, the one that looks pink in the palette. That's the pink one. That's the lightest one that looks white in the palette. And that's the dark one. So those are the three. I think we're going to go with the pink one. It's pretty.
I don't know how well it's going to stay is what I think. Let's see. Oh, it stayed pretty good. I don't know about the highlighter. I mean, it's very sparkly, but it's, I don't know, it's weird. It'll look better once I put on the rest of my makeup. Okay, for the eyeshadow, I probably won't be trying the liners because we're going to try that liner with the, for the glue. What eyeshadows are we going to use? Let's see. Let's go in with this brush and let's do for our transition color. There's just so many colors here to choose from. But you know me, I'm going to want something semi-neutral. I think we're going to go with this matte right here, this kind of pink one. And that's what I'm going to use for my transition color. And I'm just going to go in, see how much pigment. Okay, I got nothing. I see the powder. I just didn't see any color. So it seems like it's going to be a little work to get any pigment. I don't know. You guys tell me. I don't really see anything on that. So maybe we'll go in. Well, let's put a little of this on this side just so that they're even. And then we'll go in with something a little bit darker. So instead of that one, we'll go in with this one down here. Or maybe we'll go in with this one right here that's really close to that one, but is a little darker. It's just not as neutral. I really wanted neutral. So maybe I'll use both. I'll use a little bit of that one and then more of that other one. That seemed to work better, so that's what we'll do. We'll just go with a little bit more of that and then one little plop into there and then we're getting kind of a pinky purple with the two mixed together pull that up nice and high so that you can see it and then pull it into the lid a little bit Now, I think I'm going to go in with a brush that's a little more compact so that maybe we can grab some. Here, we'll use this brush. And we're going to go into this color down here. It's kind of a browny purple. You can't see it. Let's see if I can turn it over and still point to it. Right there. That's the one we're going to use with my pointer finger. <laughs> anyway. They don't have names. So that's what we're going to use for our outer corner. And I'm going to start off low down by my lash line and then just kind of feather it up into my, into a V. Actually, there's not a lot of pigment there either, so maybe we'll just go ahead and pull this across into the crease. And then we'll go even darker for the V. All right, well, they blend nicely, but they're pretty hard to get much pigment out of it. it just takes it takes work um, it just takes time actually and just keep adding to it but for $15 you know 
So let's go in with another one. Here's a purple one up here. Let's do purple on that. That looks like it has a lot of pigment. We'll see. It doesn't. And I'm afraid if I pack it on there too tight, it's just gonna have a ton of fallout. Yeah, this would be great for a kid's palette, but it just doesn't have the payout that it should for like real somebody that doesn't have the time for this. All right, now I'm gonna go in to a light color with some sparkle. If I can see, here's a really light pink one. Right here in this second slot. That's what I'm gonna put on the inner half of my lid. And I'm gonna do it with my finger. Looks not pink anymore, it looks white now. And now it looks gold. Yeah. And there is a ton of fallout that will hopefully brush off. It did. Well, that's good. But I would suggest using spray, which is what I'm going to do now. Because who needs fallout, right? Let's just grab some on my finger. Spray my finger. And dab it on. And I still got it underneath. So be careful with the sparkly ones. There's tons of fallout. So that is it for that. These eight are glosses. We'll go back to that after I finish my eyes. So now I'm going to move this over here out of the way and we are going to do our brows first. I'm going to use my Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pin. I forgot to shake it. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it already threw the box away so here we go oh I also need to brush them up so let's do that first and you can use one of these or a spoolie they both work this is just available so we're gonna go up I don't know if I told you guys this either, but I feel like this color darkens up a little after it dries. Okay. So now I'm going to put on some mascara and then we'll put on our lashes with our new glue liner. This is the Grande Lash Mascara. Okay guys, here we go. They're dry, so we're gonna put a liner lash on and I've got my lashes here ready to go. I shook this up. It didn't say shake it up, I just read it and it just said put it on and it said put it on pretty heavy and then immediately put your lash on and I'm just gonna put it on just like I would put on a liquid liner
which I actually haven't worn liquid liner in a minute. So we'll just see how this goes. Hopefully I won't ruin my whole makeup by doing this. I didn't put a wing because I watched a review and they basically said it stays sticky. So I wanted to, I'll just put a, a wing with regular liner. Well, it went on really good. It looks good. Except that I see a fuzzy in there. There, got it. All right, feels pretty good so far. I feel like I should have put more on my lash and I didn't, I put it on just like a liner. Go in with our liner. I'm going to get it a little bit on my lashes on this one because I didn't on the last one and I feel like I want it to stick to my lashes. And these are the Jubilee liners from Kiss that I have already worn before so they're pre-cut to my eye already. We'll have to get back to you on how it stayed. I like it. I'm going to go in with regular liner now. I'm going to use my whatever I have here, Stila. And I'm going to, because I didn't go in all the way to the corner because I didn't want it to be sticky there. So I'm just going to fix that up a little bit and just go finish it in into the center. And then I'm going to make a wing, which is really hard to do once you have the, your lash on. But I think I can do it. So now we're going to go back in with our eyeshadow and put a little bit underneath. I'm gonna use the brown and purple. I'm just gonna mix them, the brown and the purple. And then I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna connect my lower lash. To my upper lash, like that. And we're gonna do our lips. So, they didn't give us any lip liner, so we're just going to go in with the gloss, and I'm just going to go in with my finger. I think we're going to go for this, I think we're going to go for this kind of, let's just see what it looks like. Oh. I don't know, it doesn't look like it has much color. No, it's completely clear. Try this one. Okay, these are, these glosses are like clear. 
maybe I have to get past the because in the see in the package they're not clear but so far I've tried that one and that one and they're basically clear let's try this one let's go push down and see if we can get past maybe it's just a oh yeah see that's just it's just a clear coating on top okay I don't want to wear this one all right so now that I know see what I did I just really stuck my finger in it and that's what works so we're going to go back to the first one that I wanted to try which is this one in the corner which is kind of dark so maybe I'll go to this pink one right here this pale pink one and try it Oh, that one's pretty. I like that one. Let's try this other one that I tried first that I said had no color. See if we can get just a little bit more color. They feel very, very slippery, like they won't last very long. We're going to try another color on top of that. Because that one went kind of purple. And I wanted to come back to this color right here. I didn't really get there. Anyway, the colors we tried were... First I did the light pink one, then I did this kind of brighter pink one, and then I went for this one to try and get it to back to that color. Maybe I'll just take this off. Got a lot of sparkle in it. And then we're going to go for the last one that I tried, that one, just by itself. Because I think that's the one that's the closest color I want yeah it is it just doesn't have as much sparkle to it which is is okay yep I like that one all right that's it this is our look of the day what do you think you think it's worth $15? I think it's worth $15, but I can't see me using it very often because it's too much work. But it would be perfect if you have a, I don't know, somewhere between 10 and 16 year old, maybe even higher, that doesn't have very much money and can't buy makeup. This one is a good one. They have a lot of choices there. And then, and you can get this look out of it. You know, it's, it's, it's a little bit of work, but they need the practice anyways, right? They're young. So anyways, I think it looks pretty good considering it was only $15. And so far, I think that this, oh, wait a minute. Oh no, it's coming off already. Okay, so that's not very good. I'm going to have to put some more glue on there. This does really look good, but I wouldn't want to have to worry about my lashes falling off when I'm not at home. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!